um, this is my dad graduated in 65, and so this is my dad. Then um, my mom, I found two pictures of my mom, but my mom graduated two years later, so this is my mom. Um, and I remember going through her yearbooks when I was young and just loving to look at the pictures, and she was Miss Merry Christmas, and I just always thought, oh, she was just so beautiful and, um, you know, wanted to be so much like her. I've had students that were undocumented. Um, some of my best memories are working with those students and exploring options for college and exploring scholarships. Um, two of those students went on to get full rides to really good schools and then to graduate from those schools. So that's very rewarding when you can see the work you've done pay off, like through building the IB program and there being an IB program and all the supports that program gave to them, seeing them be so successful. I did, when I started teaching, I had a mentor, Leanne Towell, um, she, Leanne Ritchie, yeah, yeah Leanne, uh, she was my mentor at Concord Middle School, and I do feel like that's just a great um, structure we have put in place. So yes, I have worked very closely with several um, new teachers. We have one teacher that's that's now a second year math teacher. She came through the IB program um, and so she came back to teach math here and she and I have conversations daily. She's great. She doesn't need a lot of support from me but I try to be there to help her any way I can um, because I love that she went through our program, saw the value of it, went to App State and graduated and then now has come back and is given back to our community. We have to be developing students that are ready for the workforce, that are ready for the military, that are ready for college, um, because we know those students are going to go out and many stay, like me, many stay in our community, many you know, grow up through Concord and they're going to stay in this area. So if we can give them the supports and the life lessons and the skills that they need to be successful, it's going to help our community because they're going to stay in our community and then our community is going to grow and prosper and we are going to be a better community because of the education those students receive. My grandfather went to Concord High. Obviously not this building, but the building down on Marsh Avenue, what's now the Glenn Center. I have four children. All four of my children have come through the school. Um, I have a nephew that's been through here, and I have cousins who came through, and now um, some of their children are, are coming through here also. 